am I gonna do with all this gluten-free bread I left out overnight? Gluten-free stuffing. Let's do it. How do you make stuffing gluten-free? Just substitute gluten-free bread. And today I'm gonna use this. Canyon Bakehouse makes gluten-free bread. They have a lot of varieties, but today we're just gonna use the Mountain White. And what's easy is that you use the whole loaf, so you really don't have to measure. But if you're a little particular, it's about nine cups. I like to use a Dutch oven, especially around the holidays. It makes things really easy. And this happens to be Martha Stewart's brand. It lasts forever, truly. And it's great because it goes from the stove into your oven. So that's a one pot meal. So this is gonna turn to about medium heat. I have three quarters of a cup of butter already in here, so that's gonna start melting. And the first thing you do is you add your veggies. I'm gonna use one medium onion that I've already cut up and about four stalks of celery, thinly sliced, so these are all ready to go. For my butter today, I am gonna use Kerrygold's unsalted European butter. Again, I like to use unsalted because I like to add my own seasonings, but you do you. So while this melts and coats the bottom of your pot, let's add the onions first, and then We'll add the celery. The way you know that this is ready is if the onions are translucent and everything is nicely coated together. After I left the bread overnight, really you can leave it out for like one or two hours or you can really use it fresh, but this happened to be overnight and I sliced it into these nice little cubes. And so while this is cooking, you could actually cube your bread. So now I'm gonna add my seasonings. I have about half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of sage, and some kosher salt. Something to remember if you use dried ingredients is that you wanna kind of break them up with your hands or your fingers and it kind of adds, opens up the flavor a little more. And I happen to have rosemary in my garden. You can use dried rosemary. I'm gonna actually throw in some big sprigs. So let's add those in, sprinkle in the seasoning. Okay, so just use your hands, add in the bread. Okay, so as the bread comes in, slowly fold in the vegetables and the spices so everything is coated. So now that you've added in the breadcrumbs, it's now time to add your broth. This is two cups. I'm gonna use chicken broth today, unsalted. You can use veggie broth. You can even use your turkey drippings to this as long as those drippings are gluten-free. So this is ready to go in the oven. I like to add an extra pinch of salt to the top, maybe some cracked pepper. Put your lid on. This is your arm workout. This goes into the oven for 30 minutes at 350, and that's it. I just took this out of the oven. It's really hot. Oh, it looks beautiful and it smells like Thanksgiving in your house with all of this nice aroma and the herbs that we used and the seasoning. Let's give it a quick taste. Whoops, all right. Oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> so there's no really, there's no reason why you can't also enjoy stuffing and make it gluten-free because Canyon Bakehouse has multiple options of choosing your own bread. And again, I use just the regular mountain white bread. There's heritage white. There's just so many great flavors. So don't miss out this Thanksgiving. Make yourself some gluten-free stuffing and invite some friends. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, good. Go to our YouTube channel and like and subscribe.